Okay, I'm out putting out Liberty Link flags in our fields because uh, we ha have only Liberty Link. And if you listen to the extension and the crop specialist people, they say that if, if the your beans are flowering, they are the most susceptible to yield damage to by to the dicamba drift. So I'm looking in here and these are blooming. Some of the blooms are gone or, you know, have been spent. They're done blooming, some of them, and then some are just uh, coming on. So I wanted to see right here, the, there's not much damage, but if you get up in here, I'm gonna show you some that, uh, that is, does have some cupping. Okay, these new leaves are where the bad um, dicamba damage is. And it's not awful. It's just we're not sure how it's going to affect those blooms for the pods. So what we're going to have to do is document the damage and uh, check the yield monitor when it, in the fall and see where the yield is less and maybe even check some pods later on do some pod counts um, maybe in September do that but there's some damage out there you can see the cupping um, this is uh, our worst field that um, that we have of the dicamba drift or volatizing whichever you want to say it um, I know there's a difference, but some say it's volatizing and no, some other thing is just calling it drift. So I will show you the field that does have the, the worst cupping drift damage. So we'll go to that one. Okay, looking just looking at the, this field, you can tell that it's cupped. The, the leaves are not flat there. They have got that uh, dicamba damage. And you're looking at the leaves close up. Um, you can see the new foliage coming out it's getting that wrinkled damage into it now it looks like it's kind of growing out of it but it is in the stage where there's it's flowering and it's going to affect those pods so <clears throat> like i said before we're going to uh, just document and then check the yields probably check the pod count before we harvest and uh, we're not getting excited. Some people, we've been accused of uh, putting stuff on our field when it's actually a Liberty field. And these people are just going nuts about it. Um, we've got damage here. And we're not uh, pointing fingers saying you got to, you know, we need money. Get this paid for. Fix this. So, um, it's, uh, I, but Monsanto does have a problem. And they they they're going to have to do something about it because you can't do this every year and if you're next to some next to something that's even more sensitive than beans uh somebody's garden some um vegetables this is uh it could be you know a total loss on some of them depending on the damage so it's uh it's going to be a problem for them they're going to have to do something but for us we are not um, getting excited about it. We're just going to check the yields when uh, in the fall and just see how it turns out. Because we've got the yield monitor, we got the mapping, and um, they'll tell us a lot right there. And we're, we're going to also check the pod count. So let's. Uh, I'm going to put the flag up on this one and uh, move on down the road and check the next field. Now um, I do know that putting the flags up is a little late. But I think it's good to put the flags up anyway, just to uh, let people know that there are Liberty Beans out here that are not being, that are not spraying and causing somebody else's damage. Now, like I said, this, you could tell this field has been, you just looking at the leaves, um, and there's some that are worse than this. So there, there's, there's going to be some yield loss, but we're not, uh, we're not going to go crazy about it and uh, just see how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching my video. I would really appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. And if you already have, here's another video for you to watch.